truly or papus. So let's solve this problem. Determine the surface area and volume of the solid formed by revolving the shaded area 360 degree about the z-axis. So let's understand first for the figure. So in figure natin may radius na 1.5 meter. And then it has a height, total height of 4 meters. So okay. And then ito yung z-axis natin which is vertical axis. So yung tricks lang dito para masolve yung surface area and volume. Hahanapin natin yung uh, shape or part ng figure na ito na kapag mo 360 degree, eh ganito yung magiging itsura. So, ito yung itsura ng uh, shape na yan. So, ito yung itsura ng shape. Okay? So, ito yung pag mo 360 degree, pag ganun, okay? So, ito yung itsura niya. So, meaning, dito lang tayo magpo-focus, guys. Okay? So, pwede na tayo dito mag-focus since ito yung shape na kapag Nerotate mo, ganito yung kinalabasan. Okay? So, first, uunahin natin isolve yung volume. Since yung volume, yung pinakamadali. So, the formula for this uh, figure, solve the volume, is V equals theta R bar times its area. Wherein yung theta, yan yung angle na na-accumulate ng shape sa figure. Okay? So, since sinabi na 360 degree, meaning, uh, one revolution yung pag-rotate niya. So, in terms of region, 360 is equals to 2 pi. Pi yung R, okay? Yan yung yung radius na ating uh, specific point with respect sa ating z-axis. And then yung A, yan yung total area na uh, per shape na na-form. Okay, so isolve na natin. So, eto na guys. So, alam ko na yung theta, but hindi ko pa alam yung R bar times A. So, okay? So, yung R bar times A, replace that as X1, A1 plus X2, A2. Since figure composed of two shapes. So, area yung pinag-uusapan natin. Mag-focus tayo sa mga shapes na nag-form. So, first, meron tayong uh, rectangular uh, shape. So, sasabihin na lang natin, ito yung ating A sub 1. Then, we need to determine its centroid according to its shape. Okay? So, since it is rectangle, at alam naman natin na yung centroid ng rectangle is sa gitna. So, what is the distance okay, of that point centroid point of rectangle with respect to z-axis. So, ito yung x1 natin. So, yung distance niya along z-axis. Okay? So, note natin yan. And then, we have a2. So, sabihin na lang natin ito yan. Yung ating triangle. And then, yung centroid ng triangle is one third of the base which is 1.5 yung length. Meaning, dito 0.5 so divide mo sa 3 so 1 third so dito well sa height 1 third rin so 0.666 so dito so yan yung 1 third okay so yung x sub 2 yan yung distance ng centroid point ng triangle along z axis so i-plug in na natin sa formula at i-identify na rin yung mga measurement Okay? So, isolve na natin. So, yung x1 or x sub 1, what is the distance of centroid for dry rectangle along z-axis? So, alam natin na 1.5 ito, ba? That is the radius of our cylinder. So, meaning, ano yung kalahate ng 1.5? Diba? 0.75. And then, yung a sub 1. What is the area for our a sub 1? Meaning, ano yung area ng ating rectangle? So, simply 1.5 times 2. So, we have 3. Then, yung x sub 2, what is the distance of this point along z-axis? So, alam natin na yung centroid for triangle is 1 third. So, meaning 1.5 divided by 3. And then, what is the area for our triangle? So, simply 1.5, simply 1 half base times height. So, 1 half times 2 times 1.5. So, this is 1.5. And then, solve natin. Simplify na lang natin. So, finally guys, I found out na yung volume for this figure is 18.85 meter cube. So, meter cube siya kasi yung area, yung unit niya is meters square. Somehow, yung x, x1 natin or yung x2, yung distance niya is unit meter. So, pag multiply yung meter, sa square meter, meaning cubic meter or meter raised to 3. Then, proceed na tayo sa surface area. 
So in formula, to solve surface area, we have SA stands for surface area is equals to theta r bar raised to L. Uh, identity ng uh, theta and r bar. Yung binagaiba lang nito is yung L. So ito, yung L is yung length of the line. So as you can see in the figure, we have how many lines na nagform na itong shape. So we have 1, 2, and 3. So hindi nakabilang ito ha, kasi yan yung reference axis natin. Hindi yan bilang, okay? So we have 1, 2, and 3 lines. So, meaning, theta is ganun pa rin, 2R times we have x1, l1, plus x2, l2, plus x3, l3. Okay? So, tatlo siya kasi tatlo yung line natin. Okay? Next is, to fill this blank. Now, so your L1, so, so what is the center or centroid of this line? So this is in the middle. Dito rin, so in straight line ito, dito rin sa gitna. Ito, dito rin sa gitna. Okay, so what is, so sabihin na natin itong L, L sub 1, this is our L sub 2, this is our L sub 3. So yung distance of this point along with respect to z-axis sabihin na natin x sub 1 so ganun pa rin to is x sub 2 and then this is uh, x 3 ok so lagay na natin sa blank so yung x 1 what is the length ok so how far is this centroid along z-axis so kalahati meaning 1.5 divide 2 and this is 0 0.75 and then L1 what is the total length of this line so alam natin this is 1.5 then next is X2 what how far is this point along Z axis so this is similar to the length of radius which is 1.5 okay and what is the length of this line so this is similar to this so meaning 2 meter Next is yung x sub 3. Okay? So, yung x sub 3, in the middle din ng line na to. Alam natin na this is 1.5, meaning in the middle lang din. So, sorry, dito yan approximately. Kasi, straight mo lang yung pababa, yan na yung center natin. So, this is 0 0.75. Okay? Then, yung length nito, so, hindi given. So, we can use Pythagorean theorem base and height and we're going to find its hypotenuse so finally guys the surface area for this figure is 37.70 meter square so recap lang guys so sa pag solve ng theory of purpose kinakailangan mo na hanapin mo yung piece ng shape na yun na kapag nerotate mo according sa given na condition so sabihin natin 360 so pag nerotate mo yung piece na yun ng shape sa figure na yun na 360 makukuha mo yung ganitong figure. So, sa akin, so ito yung piece of shape ko na kapag nirotate ko 360 degree, uh, ito yung magiging kinalabasan. Okay? So, kapag na-conclude nyo na tama naman yung shape na nakuha nyo or yung piece, pwede nyo na hanapin yung surface area and volume for that figure using your shape na inyong uh, ginawa. So, make sure nyo lang na tama yung shape na kinuha nyo para makuha mo yun yung saktong figure. So, yung piece talaga is uh, importante. Pwede nyo nakuhain yung volume surface area using that shape. So, ito yung shape na nakuha ko, kinuha. So, nakita nyo naman kanina na kinuha ko yung volume and surface area using this shape. Meaning, pag mali yung nagawa mo shape, mali rin yung surface area and volume na masasold mo. So, kailangan make sure nyo talaga na tama yung kukunin yung shape sa figure na to. Ilalagay nyo yan dito. Then, kapag mali, pag may maling shape lang, so sabihin mo natin square yung nilagay mo dito instead of uh, rectangle so yung height niya sabihin mo 1.5 lang so mali yun mali yung magiging answer niya so dapat maging critical kayo sa pagkuha ng shape and yung mga dimension niya so ganun lang guys hope na nakatulong alam kong kaya-kaya mo yan thank you and God bless